Hi, Kitty Wink listeners. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Juliana. Glad you're all here for story time. Okay, open-hearted, playful, and intelligent listeners, this is episode number 10. Woo-woo. This story highlights the number 10. Conveniently, you have 10 fingers. Mm-hmm. And the letter J. Oh, I love the letter J. I bet you do, Jules. <laughs> Thanks for listening and being part of the Kitty Wing crew with us and our octopus pal, Ozzy. Are we ready to guess the animal in this story? Let's go. Here are the three clues. Number one, these animals are known as marine animals. Okay, so they live in the water. Yep. Number two, they have tentacles that trail along while they swim. Hmm. Number three, these marine animals are squishy. You might even say they're... (laughs) Jelly-like? <laughs> oh, that might have been a really good clue. Okay, listeners, what do you think it is? Hmm. Is it a jellyfish? Great guess! If you guess jellyfish like Lindsay, you are correct. Woohoo! Jellyfish are squishy, squashy marine animals that come in many different colors and have been around for over 500 years million years. Wait a second. Did you say 500 million? Yeah, isn't that wild? Whoa, that's a long time ago. This story is about sibling jellyfish that may have a hard time sharing. I don't know if you've ever experienced that. Oh, I definitely have. I think listeners can probably relate. It's hard to share. Yeah. It's time to use our ears and our minds while we listen and see if we can find where the number 10 And the fabulous letter J shows up. (laughs) We're excited to discuss this story with our guest, Kitty Wings, at the end. So stick around for that conversation as well. I can't wait to learn more. Enjoy a Kitty Wink story from us. It's time to listen, and then we'll discuss. Yahoo! Let's go! The Marmalade family was a very loving family of jellyfish that resided off the Hawaiian coast of Waikiki Beach. The Marmalades were part of a larger group of jellies, which is known as a bloom. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. A bloom. Like I love flower. it. Yeah. But their nuclear family was made up of Mama Jane, Daddy Kai, and two children, the oldest being Jerome and his baby sister, Jasmine. The Marmalades were very close and loved the special things that made their family unique. For instance, they had two boys and two girls in their family, which came out to four fabulous jellies all together. They also loved how colorful their family was. Mama was a blue jellyfish, Daddy was yellow, and both kid jellies were shades of green. Jerome was more green-blue and his sister a stunning greenish-yellow. They loved frolicking in the water together, their colorful tentacles creating a kaleidoscope of hues. Oh, they sound like a beautiful family. And I love how their colors make the marmalade special and unique. That's something that makes my family so special, too. We have different colors in our family. And in beautiful colors, too. Mm-hmm. I love thinking about what makes family special. And there is something lovely and unique about every family. The Marmalade family felt special because of their vibrant variants of colors, and they also loved being Hawaiian jellyfish. I bet they did. They were proud of the Hawaiian culture and wanted every sea creature passing by to feel a warm aloha welcome. Most days, the Marmalade family would give up to 10 tours a day for wow, fish that's friends a lot. and other aquatic tourists passing by letting the current take them through the water surrounding all eight of Waikiki's stunning beaches. They would share about the beauty of their home, how important it was to live in harmony with others, and to also watch out for the humans that use long boards to surf the waves. (laughs) While the days were spent with underwater friends and travelers alike, the Marmalade's afternoons were designated family time which happened to be Jerome's favorite time of the day. Most afternoons, he would play red light, green light with his sister and would collect food for dinner with Daddy Kai. Jellyfish eat smaller organisms like tiny plankton, right? They absolutely do. Interestingly, different jellyfish eat different foods, Hmm. just like humans. Some jellyfish eat tiny plankton, while others eat like small fish, aquatic Mm. plants, and even crustaceans which like consist of things 
plants that we know, like barnacles or shrimps or krill. Okay. Crustaceans. Cool. The marmalade family preferred plankton, but would eat whatever they could find. Some nights after dinner was finished, Mama Jane would bring Jerome with her on a special outing. They would get as close to the beach as they could and listen to the soft, relaxing music drifting from the shore. Jerome loved the sound of the Hawaiian drums called a pahu and the beautiful strumming ukuleles. This was his super special time with Mama, and he cherished every minute. That was until one day when his sister asked to come along. Uh Uh-oh. I take it Jerome did not want anyone else to join his special time with Mama Jane. He did not. But let me back up. Before Jasmine made her request, Jerome's day was going swimmingly. No pun intended. (laughs) In fact, everything was perfectly normal and great. The 10th and final tour of the day wrapped up. Jerome and Jasmine played a game of red light, green light, washed up, and got back to their mom and dad just in time for dinner. But then it happened, the conversation that turned into an explosion of emotion. Uh Uh-oh. When dinner was wrapping up, Mama Jane asked, Jerome, would you like to join me for a special outing? The music is supposed to be extra spectacular tonight because the 10-piece band, the Mahalos, will be playing. The Mahalos? No way. Let's go, let's go, let's go, replied a very excited Jerome. May I come too? asked Jasmine. Before Mama Jane could respond, Jerome said, No, you can't come. Please? Jasmine begged. Well, Jasmine, I... Jerome could not wait for his mom's response and interrupted. Absolutely no way, no how can you come with Mama and me. This is our special time. Jasmine immediately started to cry, (laughs) and Mama Jane did not look too happy with Jerome's response to his sweet sister. Oh, that's so tricky. I can totally see why Jerome would want to keep this special time with his mom just between the two of them. Yeah, I do too. But uh, on the other hand, I can also see why Jasmine would want to be included and why it hurt her feelings when her brother told her no. So what happened next? Well, Jerome was right about Mama Jane not being thrilled with how he spoke to his sister. Jerome, she said, I know our time together means a lot to you. It means a lot to me, too. But that does not give you authority to speak on my behalf, nor does it give you the right to tell your sister she cannot come. Now Jerome felt even more upset. Jerome's mind was racing with thoughts. Mama's taking Jasmine's side. Even worse, Jasmine's taking Mama away from me. I wish my sister would just disappear. Oof, it sounds like Jerome's having some pretty big feelings. Very big feelings indeed. He couldn't seem to calm himself or his mind down. It was too much to take in. Jerome stretched out his tentacles and stung his sister right on her head. Ouch! Ow! Ow! Ouch! cried Jasmine. Jerome! said Mama Jane. Please stop! I see that you are mad and you are allowed to feel angry and be upset. However, you are not allowed to physically harm or hurt anyone, scolded Mama Jane. It is never okay to hurt someone. Please take a moment to yourself while I make sure Jasmine is okay. Even though Jerome still felt angry, he felt even worse hurting his sister. I bet. He really didn't want to hurt her or have her disappear, for that matter. He just wanted to have his special time with his mama. What a difficult situation. Yeah. It's really never okay to hit, sting, or hurt someone, no matter how mad you are. Was Jasmine okay? Luckily, Jasmine was okay physically, but her feelings were really hurt. She adored her brother and did not see why her coming along would be so upsetting. Once Mama Jane made sure Jasmine was okay, she floated over to Jerome. Jerome, it is never okay to hurt someone, especially your little sister, who looks to you for guidance. I understand you are upset, and I can see why you feel this way. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to hurt Jasmine, but I still feel angry, Jerome replied. How about we try something to help calm down? 
You love to count, so let's first count down from 10 to 0. Then let's take a deep breath and see how we feel, suggested Mama. Jerome counted down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And then he took a deep breath in. Immediately, he felt a bit calmer. Now, Mama Jane said, think about how you would feel if you were Jasmine right now. Jerome tried to think about what his sister must be feeling. He would feel bad if Jasmine hurt him, and he wouldn't like being left behind from listening to the beach music. Jerome looked at his sister's sad face and saw how badly he had hurt her. He said, Jasmine, I'm sorry I stung you and told you that you couldn't come with Mama and me. That wasn't very nice. Thanks, Jerome, replied a slightly happier Jasmine. I forgive you, but I still want to come along to hear the music. Jasmine, you absolutely can come with us. And Jerome, I promise it will still be special time spent together. You may even like it better having your sister with us. Okay, said Jerome. I guess we can try it. Yay! Cheered a now fully happy Jasmine. Away the marmalade kittywinks went with their mama, ready to listen to beautiful music together. And although Jerome still liked his solo time with his mom, maybe, just maybe, these moments, though different, can be extra special too. And that's the end. Let's call a kitty wink. Hi, Kitty Wink. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Milo, and I um my favorite car is um yellow, and I like video games. You like video games? <laughs> and I like that. And my favorite sport is basketball. And I'm five and going to kindergarten. You're going into kindergarten, Milo. How old are you? How many fingers do you have up? Five. Five. You're five years old, and you're going into kindergarten. That's so exciting. And yellow's your favorite color? That's such a great color. <laughs> yeah, yellow is like a happy color to me. I And that makes sense, Milo, because you're a happy, happy, smiley guy. And uh, yellow came up in the story, too, which we can talk about in a minute. But we are so glad you came on this week's journey with us. And we'd like to hear your favorite part of the story. Um, the jellyfish stung the um, jellyfish. When the jellyfish stung his sister? What? That was your favorite part? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I have you ever been stung by a jellyfish? You're shaking your head. No, I haven't either. I don't think it would feel too good. Do you think that if you and your brother were jellyfish that you would sting each other? Yeah. No. <laughs> I think you guys would just hug each other, right? We don't hug. You don't hug your brother. Well, do you know how to count backwards? One, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Whoa. That, that was, was really, really, really awesome. What was the number in this story? Do you remember? Mm, ten. And ten. you just counted backwards from ten, didn't you? Yeah. We did hear it in the story when Jerome counted backwards, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. And then do, I, we didn't even talk about what was the letter that came up in the story? J. It was J. Good job. And where did we hear a J word come up in the story? Uh, the sister and the mommy and the brother. We're all named J names, right? Do you know my name? Uh, J. It starts with a J, Juliana, right? And was the sister Jasmine? Yeah. Yeah, my sister-in-law's name is Jasmine. Such Hi, a, Jasmine. Such a pretty name. It is. It's such a beautiful name. We love people named Jasmine. And what do you think Jerome learned in the story? I know we talked about him stinging his mm -hmm. sister. Do you think he learned anything from that? Uh-huh. What do you think he learned? Uh, not to sting. <laughs> not to sting. And what, to, what was he supposed to do instead of stinging? 
Uh, no sleep. Yeah. And did he sort of have to think about how to calm his body down so that he wouldn't do that? Yeah. Yeah, he used his numbers to count down and calm his body down. That's a really important lesson because I still do that today. I mean, I use my numbers to count down. I use my breath to calm my body down. And then you know what I really use? I use my words to communicate because I find that using words is a lot safer and easier than using your body and hitting or hurting someone. Mm, That's a really good point. Before wrapping up, Milo, let's play a game of would you rather. All right. Would you rather be a jellyfish? You could be a yellow jellyfish, blue, green, any color jellyfish. Or would you like to be a jumbo jet? Oh, what would you choose? Jumbo jet. Tell us why. Because you can fly in the air. You can fly in the air. That's a great answer. You can fly really high and you're pretty big, right? I think I would say a jet too. It would be really cool to fly in the air. I would say a jellyfish, shocker, but I would like to be still a J word because yeah, I'm Juliana. <laughs> that makes sense. Milo, before wrapping up, do you have a would you rather question for us? Um, would you rather have arms or legs? Oh my gosh. Okay. A lot of arms or a lot of legs? Like a jellyfish? Yeah. And tentacles? Hmm. I think I would say a lot of arms so I could give lots of hugs. What about you, Jules? I would say a lot of legs so I could run really, really fast. (laughs) (laughs) Milo, what about you? A lot of arms. Why would you want to have a lot of arms? Because I can hug a million people. You can hug a million people, just like Ozzy the Octopus, right? Yeah. Thanks, Milo and listeners, for tuning into episode 10. And we can't wait to be with you again on another episode. Bye. Bye, Bye, Kitty Winks. That was so fun to be with all of you and have a conversation with our Kitty Wink guest, Milo. Woo! If you would like to be a Kitty Wink guest, please reach out. We would love to have you. Yes, we would. Email us at contactkittywink at gmail.com and check out our Instagram page at Kitty Wink Crew. And we would love to have artwork from our Kitty Wings to share. We've been loving what we've been getting so far. Can you draw a jellyfish using two different colors for us? Please send it our way, and we might just feature your artwork on our page. Thanks for letting us share what we love, stories. Please come back next week for a new podcast story adventure. We want to grow our community, so please show us some love by liking, subscribing, and reviewing. Thank you, and remember to love yourself, others, and spread that love everywhere. Or as Ozzy would say, lead with your three hearts. Goodbye! Bye! Go Kitty Wink! Yay! Stories written and read by Juliana Bria and Lindsay Farley. Original theme by Miriam Mayer. Artwork by Amy Nicholson and Maggie Porter. Find us wherever you get your podcasts. This has been a Kitty Wink Crew production. Kitty Wink!